all right after some grinding i'm here and i will and i will show you what i got so first of all i'll show you how to kill enemies practically but oh holy oh, oh, shit i I was going to do that and stop the video and wear the equipment I have. Never mind. So uh, I get AP farming a little. Many of the items here, as you see, have lots of stars. So here with Tifa, I have command counter with slash all, and the Kaiser knuckle inflicts knockouts with your uh, basic attacks. So. Since I did uh, AP farming for a while, I don't wear uh, double growth items or triple growth because it is not necessary at the moment. I have some master all materials with you know barrier is here. I mean barrier requires so much AP. I mean look at that for next level still like eighteen thousand is necessary. Who will who will do that? I don't know. A master to restore materia, these are for some additional stats. Maybe if there is a fire, yeah, for HP. But you know what? Maybe sometimes I need ice element attacks. So with Aerith, I have a fire attack with you know third grade to all enemies. Magic counter with restore. If you realize restore is just grade one. Because I don't want uh, counter heals to do uh, take too much MP and there's Comet and Wizard stuff say um, uh, double uh, AP growth still and it is the best weapon I have at the moment so these will get APs especially magic counter really needs and Comet as well you need Comet too all these are here for HP boost, as you see almost 5k HP on Erit. So Erit will be slow, but point is Erit being a tank and gets limit break. So Barret has some, you know, a restore would be helpful. Poison in case I need, destruct in case I need, I have W machine gun which is double growth still. Added cut to steal for double attacks and enemy skill for you know uh, unlocking certain situations. So here I'll save. So the story can progress now. I get by the way uh, different equipments, gem ring for petrify or resist earth for example. Now there are too many stats in these, if you want bl blind or paralysis, storm ring perhaps. Some elements and stats effect defenses are with these, uh, uh, these accessories, as you see this one blocks petrify again, petrify, phoenix ring for blocking instant knockout, which would be really useful against that fucking uh, genova battle. But we pass that. This is just a uh, regular stat. This is, again, this is luck. If, you, if I want to steal something, I can wear these. The manipulation rate one, there's a steal rate one on UP. So, I go with sleep and silence and no gravity. I'll have favoring in all of these guys. Because usually they hit you with a silence and if I remember correctly weapon I mean we will have a battle with weapon if I remember correctly and holy shit I will lose Tifa here what am I doing what I did material adjustment for no reason I will get Sid on the team instead I should I should have I should have looked for uh, Sid rather than fuck My plan was great, you know. Aerial base attack with knockout probability for little enemies. Oh shit.
That music is like the signal of the bottom for the heroes, you know. Just as you think that things cannot go any worse, it gets worse. Like, Aerith dies, Cloud loses mind, and then you see Cloud becomes like a plant. Can't do shit. And that music plays, you know. I'm pretty sure you can shake your titties and get a boyfriend, you bitch. She talks about you are all, all have left. A bitch like this will never get hungry, you know what I mean? Say whatever you want, find it cool if you want. It, it, this is the case. I thought I would find um, Ultima weapon here. But no, I will have huge materia quests now. So Cloud, I mean Tifa left us, so uh, I'll have to do material adjustments, I will stop the video after I get out of here, then I will do something. So he will basically get Tifa's role in this case, I mean what, what else can I do? Maybe I can pick uh, Red 13 because Red 13 is kinda like Cloud, a balance between magic and defense, but maybe I should get Yuffie. The shit gets hardcore. You know. Imagine the morale of this team, and you know what? I'll get Vincent on the team if I can. If I if I'm not forced to pick um, Sid. Don't get me wrong. I love Sid to death, and I will use Sid a lot in this tree. But now I want to play some characters that I never played. But I'll probably won't be able to. I mean, I can't. Give up from air to our Barrett. And this is such a badass moment where they pick a leader and Barrett actually doesn't want it and gives it to Sid. That's so badass. Sid is so badass. I love Sid to death. And his music will play now. Oh, it's not. Okay. Pain in my ass. Forget it. Like... <laughs> I was going to call him badass, but I accidentally couldn't name it. Yes, B control Sid. All right.
uh, do I have to go to operation room? Like, why are you forcing me to do that shit? Okay, fine. I much prefer her. I prefer him over. I prefer him over T5 today. Let's save two. All right, I j adjusted seat a little. So first, I'll try for Condor. For those who don't know, there are like three huge materia placements. I mean, this is the shortest battle, so I picked this one for first. And in the future battles, I will perhaps unlock Sid's uh, limit breaks after this episode, perhaps. So we will have Fort Condor, but not really. I'll save and go do Fort Condor battle. We will use on uh, we will lose on purpose here so that we can do the battle. By the way, uh, order should be like this. And of course, um, I prone it. Oh, I I'm out of. Um, Tranquilizers. Whatever. I'll also set a uh, bear to limit true, perhaps. Because we will have a single target enemy and limit two uh, limit breaks level two for bear is alright. Against a single enemy, Barret's limi uh, limit break tools are great. Hammer Blow does huge damage to that single target and Mind Blow depletes MP. So we will wait until they invade so that so that we can fight them ourselves. Uh, how do we increase speed here? Alright. Now we are at high speed. I gotta say music is not so bad. Uh, let me grab something to drink while they progress. Still continue. Here we will get Phoenix Materia. Phoenix Materia could be useful with a uh, final attack.
you know, this could have been a fun game if I could access it immediately. But uh, in the middle of the playthrough, Port Condor feels awful, you know. Fighter will be able to beat that Wyvern. I mean, he shouldn't be able to beat it, but... I just realized that fighter has uh, a ponytail. It was a fun detail. He got shenanigans. And fire tree. Let's see if there's anything worthy of stealing. will do Ice 3. The weapon that I get for Sid actually has a, a magical attack boost. Guy is really resilient to uh, skill attacks, it seems. Let's try bio. As you see, it's as easy as that. Instead of just Wasting tons of money on uh, troops. So we will get Phoenix Materia finally. Still fuck Port Combo, by the way. I mean, at least it gives a really good materia. Could be my favorite summon materia. Let me check the stat boosts of Phoenix. MP and magical defense. What fucks up your physicals? Could be good for Earth, actually, but never mind. 
By the way, um, let me have an adjustment. Um, let's switch comet material with um, cover. I really want cover material to level up so that Aerith will always block uh, physical attacks. I believe we have to talk this old fart here. Yes. I must say, this whole huge material stuff is a little bit stupid. Because those materials are there unguarded, kinda. So they would expect someone to steal, I guess. I mean, it's weird. Granted, some of these reactors are, are, are in like hard to reach areas, but neither Fort Condor or Corel is one of them. So I'll save and finish this episode here.